Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about something interesting. Now, this isn't going to be some type of toxic and hateful video towards Dodash or anything like that. Um, one aspect that I do agree with and that I do like about her channel is that she has inspired a lot of people to get on the platform. Now, a lot of people are misguided and thinking that it's just going to be easy. It's going to be a breeze, a walk in a park. You don't need tags, title, description, none of that. You just need to post, 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 and it's going to work out. Um, sadly, that's not how YouTube works at all. And the, the problem is she doesn't even know how she actually grew. Like, she don't know that she, how she got lucky because she actually used things that triggered the algorithm perfectly, and she did it all on accident. And now you can see that she's just constantly repeating the same videos, trying to get the same results again, which it'll never happen again. And there's a reason for that as well. But I mean, that, that takes you actually understanding what you're doing to be able to identify that. But that's not what we're talking about. This isn't going to be a video about me flexing how my course is better. I got more views, subscribers, all of that. None of that really matters, even though it all is true. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, the reality of this video is going to be more so focused on the fact that so many of you all need her to feel motivated you need her so you can go hard so you can stay pumped up amped up and ready to upload and that's not the way that you do youtube that's not the mindset you should be in because then you become dependent on another content creator what you need to be successful is to be able to think for yourself to be able to motivate yourself to get up and want to create that video to want to go hard to want to share your knowledge and wisdom. And honestly, it's so much easier than people may think or realize. When you identify your purpose, nothing comes close to it. It's very simple to talk about things you know. The problem is so many people I've seen, like I've saw her inspire people to get on YouTube and start talking about YouTube. People who's like 50 and up getting on YouTube talking about YouTube. All that life experience you literally lap the majority of the planet in so many areas and you're unique because you just so happen to be on YouTube where everyone would want to be able to pick your brain and know some of the things that you've learned and stuff like that. You have every advantage in the world and you come and jump on YouTube and start posting videos where you're at the biggest disadvantage possible. That makes no sense. Like some of you all just learned about YouTube. You just learned how to start posting. You just learned how to, you know... To, to do everything, and you're trying to teach others? Mm, that makes no sense. But you've lived a lot of life. You've been working jobs. What type of job experience do you have? What do you know how to do? What value can you bring to people? How can you help people become better and, and in what areas? Are you very good when it comes to health, gym, wellness? Are you good when it comes to business? Are you good when it comes to finance or accounting? Are you good when it comes to cooking? Like... Do you know the fun places to go, fun events to, ha to have? What is it that you bring to the table? I think that that's one of the key things that's missing these days among these this era of content creators brought up under the DoorDash, I mean, not DoorDash, DoorDash um, umbrella. I think a, a lack of identity is something that a lot of people following her have and that, that usually does happen that's very common it's common when you come up and a person is the single sole reason for you to start posting a video it's inspiring how dodash came up and inspired people to actually make channels but you shouldn't need her channel to keep going you have to understand you're enough if you take the time to find your purpose, find what you're good at, find find what value you bring to this um, YouTube market, you'll be able to post videos, get views, and you'll, you'll be independent. You won't need her to post a video for you to feel like posting yours. You won't need to see her grind every day. You should be waking up ready to speak about your passion or ready to speak about, it should be the thing that you enjoy doing anyway. You might as well get paid to do what you enjoy doing. And I feel like people don't look at it that way. People get on and try to, they try to become another copy of some content creator that they're, they enjoy watching. And that approach never works on YouTube because the content creators that you see on YouTube, they already exist. 
So you can't become a carbon copy of somebody who already exists and think that you're going to be successful. If you're going to get on YouTube acting sus, why wouldn't they just watch Aiden Ross? If you're going to get on YouTube barking like a dog, why wouldn't they just watch I Show Speed? If you're going to get on YouTube interviewing rappers and dancing and stuff all the time, why wouldn't they just watch Kai? There's a, there's a specific word word group grouping of words and a phrase that I could say and the end of that point would be the end of that phrase would be why wouldn't they watch you but how would that sentence go what do you bring to the table if I had to describe what it is that you do and what it is that you could bring what is that once you identify that that is your key to success on YouTube there's no one size fits all when it comes down to the key to YouTube success. Yeah, there's the consistency, knowing how to title, thumbnails don't hurt, like things like that, the the, the YouTube knowledge, but that all of that stuff, you can try for a long time or you can take a course and learn all that. My course in particular will teach you how to grow a channel from start to finish. But what's most important, even before the course comes in, is who are you? YouTube is about you. So if you don't know who you are, how can you possibly grow on YouTube? How can you possibly grow for being you on YouTube? You're going to be some type of actor. You're going to be putting on some type of show, something that's really not your true self, something that's really not your passion. And you're never going to attract people passionate about the same thing as you because you're not being genuine when you when you jump onto the platform. You need to be yourself. You need to find out what you're truly passionate about. You need some time to yourself to, to self-reflect. And that's an important step. That's an important thing in life. Self-reflection is very, very key. It's very key. It took me a long time to accept who I was and learn who I am when it comes down to this YouTube journey. I started my journey off writing and scripting every single video and editing for hours, literally like eight hours at a time to just to make one video. Now I turn on the camera, press record, and I just talk. And you would think that, oh, it's less work now the way that he does content. In some ways, yes, but... In order for me to speak like this and have value for the majority of the time that I'm speaking, how much work and things that I had to learn, how much effort, how long did it take for me to know so much that I can make content that seems so easy? Can you? Can you say something where the things that you're saying, is go something's going to resonate, click, and help somebody boost themselves to another level? It's like I I learned, I've learned the different types of value. And I know the lane that I'm great at and I stick in my lane, but there we have it y'all. I just wanted to give you all a little bit of game, give you all some perspective and information. Um, let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel about this in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.